Today, I'm talking with our head electronics engineer at Brame Service. Warm welcome. Tell us, Rafał, what do you do for a living? I mean, what does controller regeneration look like? Certainly, the first thing to do is to look at the condition of the controller, visually check the electronics for mechanical damage. During unpacking of the package, make sure that the casing is not damaged. It is necessary to remove all damage at a later stage of the work. What is the most common mechanical damage? Most often damages occur to the controller's mounting brackets. Sometimes the electronics board inside the controller is turned off. What's next? We proceed to check the electronics. If it is possible, we verify the error history by connecting the board to the power supply. Tell us, which errors are the most common? We are dealing with connection errors with the encoder, for example, F752, F750, F700. What is F752? The cause of this error can be twofold. There can be a problem with the control, a problem with the encoder, or a problem with the electrical wiring harness. Which errors most frequently occur in Hormon controllers? The most common error is F915, which can also appear in the later stage of the F752 error. If the 752 error is seen at random times, we can assume that the controller will need to be regenerated in the near future. And the error of 519? I would rather choose the manufacturer controller of Efferflex, in which this error occurs most often. F519 is an error related to the drive's power supply over voltage. Efferflex gates are very fast, so in this case the error is more often in the controller's memory. If error F519 occurs, should the drive also be regenerated? We are in contact with the customer to find out in what condition the drive is and what is the year of manufacture and how many cycles it has on the controller. We can then feed back to the customer that the failure is caused most probably by a broken drive and that's it. What is the critical point of the number of cycles for the controller? We have no defined critical moment here. It depends on many factors. Some gates run for 300,000 cycles and fail. Others run for up to 1 million cycles and only get errors on the controller. However, we recommend regeneration after 400,000 cycles. And how does it look for the producer Dynaco? The most frequent error we encountered, F201, which normally indicates the activation of the stop emergency button. Unfortunately, in most of these cases, this was not due to a fault on the push button, but rather a fault on the electronics board, an emergency commonly called a mushroom among us. You're listing the controllers from the high-speed rollers, but what about the sectional gates? We often receive them in such a condition that we are not able to read the error history. So we immediately proceed to verify the damage to the electronic components. So they are usually in a poor condition, but repairable? They can be repaired, and the most common problem is a dark display, even though the power is connected. And Hormon A445? A445, A460 in fact, all controllers from Hormon. What about loading ramps? We usually try to diagnose electronics components because the controls rarely have displays. We start electrical measurements to find the cause of damage. How do we prevent these errors in the future to ensure that the error does not reappear after sending it to the customer? We do not only replace damaged components that we find during the diagnostic, we also replace all components that may have been damaged. This is a complete refresh of the electronics. There is absolutely no reason to fear that such a controller will display an error again in a short period of time. We use the best available components. Refabrication. Sounds good and of course, it also fits the circular economy. How about a guarantee? We are sure about our work. The controllers are tested after repair 
and we are able to give the same guarantee as for new controllers, which is 12 months. How long does the testing phase take? After repair, we usually test the controller cyclically for 24 hours, with a drive that corresponds to the customer's drive. Customers often ask if the controller will have the same parameters after the repair as before the repair. In most cases, the parameters will be returned to their pre-repair state. The customer just has to install the controller according to the YouTube tutorial video and start it up. What if the customer, despite their best intention, does not know how to install the controller themselves? What solutions do we offer them? The first solution is telephone support. The customer can call our company and is redirected to the technical department. Service technicians will help to connect and start up the repaired controller. I know that you have recently talked with Roman from Kołobrzeg and earlier with Krzysztof from Kalisz. These are some of our cooperating service technicians from all over Poland. Do we also support non-service companies, end customers or maintenance departments? We support every client equally. If a customer has a problem with gate activation, even after a phone consultation, we offer assistance from a cooperating service. Hello, good morning. Good morning. We would like to send you today an electronic board from the V2512 gate to be checked. And to send it to you, could you give us your address? Uh, Popovo 57. Postcode 64510, Wronki, Poland. As I mentioned earlier, we cooperate with many services from all over the country. We try to support and assist service providers with the programming and installation of high-speed gates. We solve the most difficult problems and support service technicians on-site. You mentioned support for service partners. What about individual customers? We do not cooperate or support individual clients. Customers often ask me for my service passwords. What should I say? Some things cannot be programmed without using a service password. We can't share the service password with end customers. But we support service partners and share the password with them so they can fully operate the controllers. If the end customer wants us to come and install the controller, what then? We will certainly first suggest cooperation with the services closest to the customer. We support service centers and provide them with the best possible knowledge of how to handle and install the products we repair. Good morning. This is Rafał Skrzypczak, Gate Service Company. I'm calling you back. I have successfully set the parameters, but I'm wondering why the brake is very loud. Does this mean that the brake is due for replacement? Yes, it could be mechanical wear on the brake, or other sounds transmitted to the brake from inside the drive. Can you tell me how many cycles the drive has done? Minimum 300,000. It's from 2019. Okay. If you have the opportunity, it would probably be the best thing to do to send us such a drive for verification. Then we will probably be able to offer reconditioning and the drive will leave us fully remanufactured. Let's imagine that, for example, a fictional association that breeds grasshoppers has a gate service that supports them. This company asks us for a repair offer. What is the price for an association? And what is the price for the service which supports them? If we are talking about the price for the end customer, it is fixed. It does not matter whether we do it ourselves or through another service partner, 
We try to discount the external services so that the price for the end customer is always the same. What tips do you have for our customers in terms of packaging controllers? Please remove the controller brackets. It is also best to protect the inside of the controller with bubble wrap so that the electronics boards are not damaged even if the package itself is damaged during transport.